Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope everybody is having a really good weekend out there. I'm having a great Saturday, just a lazy day. Went down uh, south about 20 minutes, 25 minutes this morning. Um, did a few things and picked up a couple more watermelons and found out watermelon season I think is going to be coming to, not coming to an end, but we've definitely passed the peak. Um, I got two more of my good melons, but he's getting one more load from this particular farmer and then that's it. So I think we're going to see our quality of watermelon going down from here on out. But it's been a good summer. It's been a good summer. Anyhow, today I want to talk about how health is a blessing and practicing daily gratitude. Uh, guys, I do these videos every day. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you go down and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. This is one of those talks that just kind of evolved from my thoughts and taking a few notes on my phone. This one actually kind of got started. I told you guys a couple of days ago, I was just feeling off. It's nothing serious. You know, it's no... I don't need prayer, thoughts and prayers or anything. It was just a wonky day. But anyhow, as I was laying in bed that day, I had a couple of thoughts come up in my head. And first of all, just to put it in perspective, when I don't feel good, when I have pain, when I'm even the slightest bit sick, I'm the biggest baby in the world. You wouldn't want to have to take care of me. I'm just like a big baby. I can't stand it. But uh Anyhow, yeah, I was thinking about this the other day, and it got it, it kind of triggered me and made me think of some reading I'd done before about how we don't necessarily, uh, like, just understand when we're in the moment and how we don't, well, a lot of times, we're not grateful for, we don't give gratitude, we don't think to give gratitude for things that we take for granted every day. And that health, man, health is a blessing. As I was laying there, I'm thinking, like, you know, I don't even like to moan and whine a little bit because you know you see so many people out there and I just I, I do feel the empathy for people like that that are just in so much pain or have some illness that just you know plagues them every day that you know like it like I just and when you feel even a little bit bad yourself it's just amplified like wow wow I can really empathize with these people even though I know I'm only getting like one one hundredth of the, you know, misery, maybe suffering that they are. So it took me back to like something I had read by Thich Nhat Hanh. And I, I'm going to read a little passage for you. It's, I, I just did a quick search. And it's not actually from him. This is I'm just going to read a little excerpt from an article because it, pr it pretty much had the the gist of what I wanted to talk about here. And it's called, it's called, um, it's talking about appreciating the absence of pain. We don't think about those type things so much. Like when we feel good, we don't think about, wow, I'm grateful that I don't have any pain. And this person writing the article uh, says, you don't appreciate not having a toothache until you have a toothache. Think about it. Do you ever sit around and think, you know, I'm so happy that I don't have a toothache until you have one. And she was like, sitting in the endodontist chair last week, I was asked if my tooth ached. I paused for a long moment and then replied, ache is a very vague term. We both laughed. Pain is difficult to measure. Equally difficult to measure is joy, elusive and fleeing. Thich Nhat Hanh used the toothache analogy when he spoke to a group of therapists many years ago. When you have a toothache, you're enlightened. You know something very important that not having a toothache is a wonderful thing. He further elaborated, when you do not have a toothache, you don't seem to enjoy it. Peace is there in the present moment, but we find it boring and that is why we look for something more exciting. It feels so good when a toothache finally uh, goes away. If only we could appreciate the absence of that pain all the time. And that just, like I said, I've, I've, I've taken so many little lessons from Dick Nott Hine throughout the years. I've been reading his stuff for over 25 years and just, there's all, he said something for almost every occasion or everything you could almost be thinking about that out there. So <clears throat> yet something else I'm trying to include in my daily uh, gratitude, you know, of being aware of these things, of being aware of just like the things that we take for granted or not even necessarily take for granted, but the things we just don't think about because they're just part of our given every day. 
So I came across another one that I want to, and that's how usually these talks evolve. I look at one and then I'm doing some searches and I'm like, ooh, well this isn't exactly about pain, but here's another aspect I wanted to talk about too. And this is an article called Five Ways to Practice Gratitude Every Day. And this one I will put, in, put a link to this article in the description below. It's by a young lady named Kelly Grimes. Learn to love, enjoy, and embrace what you have in the here and now. That's all you really need to be happy. That's a quote by Tick Not Nine. Let's say that again. Learn to love, enjoy, and embrace what you have in the here and now. That's all mindfulness is right there, really. That's all you really need to be happy. There's more and more research showing how gratitude positively impacts our mood, attitude, health, and well-being. Being grateful makes us more optimistic, energetic, resilient, peaceful, and productive. We feel better about ourselves and our lives and even live longer when we are grounded in gratitude. With all these benefits to being grateful, cultivating gratitude practices throughout our day is not only wise, but also deeply self-nurturing. Here are five ways to practice gratitude throughout the day. Number one, start off your day by being grateful. As Thich Nhat Hanh beautifully writes, Waking up this morning, I smile. 24 brand new hours are before me. I vow to live fully in each moment and to look at all beings with eyes of compassion. Imagine beginning every day in gratitude and feeling blessed to have another day on this beautiful earth. Try pausing before getting out of bed each morning and acknowledging how grateful you feel to be alive. Number two, express gratitude for your body and make choices that demonstrate your profound appreciation. Keeping your body healthy is an expression of gratitude to the whole cosmos, the trees, the clouds, everything, says Thich Nhat Hanh. Nurturing our bodies is an expression of gratitude. Take a moment to thank your body for all it does for you and acknowledge the miracle that it is. Demonstrate gratitude even for the parts of your body where you experience pain or dif discomfort. It is sometimes through our physical challenges that we are able to recognize how much our body does for us and that we have previously taken for granted. Three, pause throughout your day and recognize the miracles and blessings in your life. As Thich Nhat Hanh reminds us, the true miracle is not walking on water or walking in air, but simply walking on this earth. Using mindfulness and your breath to connect to the present moment allows you to tap into the awe and wonder of being alive, the ultimate gratitude generator. Take a moment to pause, especially before you eat, and thank all the people who made your meal possible, from those that grew the food to those that harvested it, sold it, and prepared it for you. Expand your gratitude practice to share with others all you are grateful for. Be grateful to be you, number four. Be yourself. Life is precious as it is. All the elements for your happiness are already here. There is no need to run, strive, search, or struggle. Just be. Acknowledging and appreciating ourselves is a profound act of self-nurturing and is essential in our daily practice of gratitude. Keep a gratitude journal and be sure to include things you appreciate about yourself, your growth, and what makes you uniquely you. Number five, make gratitude the lens with which you view your life. I love this quote from Thich Nhat Hind. Awareness is like the sun. When it shines on things, they are transformed. I believe gratitude is a form of awareness that highlights what we value and cherish. When we come from gratitude, the positive in our lives is highlighted and the negative transforms into lessons and growth. May you cultivate your gratitude practice to fuel your positivity, optimism, and well-being, and may you nurture peace in the world from the inside out. It's a good one right there. And then I'll just finish. I found one little one. If you want to practice some of this or if you want to practice the most simple of meditations, of mindfulness, of just expressing daily gratitude, it can be as easy as this. And I got, I copied this in my notes. This is somewhere else that I found um, something by Thich Nhat Hanh out there. But it's as simple as this. So listen. Breathing in, I am grateful. Breathing out, I am grateful. You realize you're breathing in as you're breathing in, you're grateful. You realize as you're breathing out, you're grateful. You're in tune with the breath. You're in tune with gratitude. You're in tune with basically enlightenment, like he said when I first started reading. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, and I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.